Hello everyone, I am Shabiba, your mathematics teacher. We have already studied the first chapter. Here is another interesting chapter, Average. Have you heard of Average? Yeah, sometimes we hear Average Price, Average Marks, etc. Anyway, let us see what the Average is or how to calculate Average. At first, we are going to help one of our friend Rahul. Rahul is in trouble. Let us see what the Rahul's problem is. Rahul wants to buy a new cricket bat. But he told his father about it. His father said to him, Give me the average of the score you got for the last four days. But Rahul doesn't know about average. Rahul only knows that the scores are 20, 10, 12 and 6. Can you help Rahul? Now, we have seen the video. And Rahul's problem was also understood. Can we help Rahul? Of course, we have to help our friend Rahul. Okay? Here, we know Rahul's scores are 10, 20, 12 and 6. Now, we need to see the average of this. Average means sum of all values divided by total number of values. In order to get sum of values, we have to add all four scores of Rahul. That means 20 plus 10 plus 12 plus 6. Then we divide this total score by the number of values. How many numbers are here? Yes, 4. That is 48 divided by 4. That is equal to 12. Students, here one thing to remember. Actual values are higher or lower than average value or equal to average value. For example, here 12 is the average score. Actual scores are 20, 10, 12 and 6. Here 20 is higher than average score and 10 and 6 are lower than our average score. And also 12 is equal to our average score. Anyway, finally we helped our Rahul. Now Rahul is very happy and we are also very happy. Now to another question. Children in class 6A decided to raise 1000 rupees to buy books for the library. There are 40 children in the class and they decided that all of them should give the same amount. How much should each give? Here, the problem is a little easier because in the 5th standard, we have divided some sweets and books equally like this. Do you remember that? Which chapter was it? Yes, of course, chapter 3, equal sharing. Similarly, the students of 6 year have decided to collect 1000 rupees and everyone should be given the same amount. That means, here we need to divide 1000 into 40 equal parts. That means, 1000 divided by 40. That is equal to 25. That means, if every children in 6A gives 25 rupees, it will be 1000. Okay? So, their problem was solved. And this is the time for last question. There are 30 children in class 6B. They raised 1200 rupees for a medical fund. Can you calculate how much each girl? Here, children in 6B have already collected 1200 rupees. Then they asked, how much did each give? And also here, amount given may not be the same. So, can we say the exact amount each girl? No, we cannot say the exact amount each girl because they have it already collected money and here also amount given may not be the same but we can say something about the average each give how because we know about average and we know how to calculate average 
So here we are going to calculate average. That is here average equal to total amount divided by number of students. That is equal to 1200 divided by 30. That is equal to 40. That means the average amount given by each child is 40. Students, here one thing to remember. 14 is only the average amount, not the exact amount. Some students may have given more than 40 rupees or some students may have given less than 40 rupees or someone may have given 40 rupees only. Finally, we can say the average amount each student gave is 40. Okay, today's class is ends here and this is your homework. See you in the next class with another interesting questions. Bye.